five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. Full power. And lift and off. Go. Go by at that three. SPS go by at that. Go Falcon power. M1D chamber pressure assemble. We are 30 seconds into flight under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off of Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the O3B M-Power payload. Peak mechanical stress on the vehicle, so we do slow down the vehicle to get through this period of high stress. And once we pass through Max-Q, we will throttle those engines back up on those side boosters. Max-Q. And great call out, we have passed through Max-Q. So we're gonna throttle up those engines again on these side boosters. You can follow along the telemetry on your left hand, on the bottom left hand of your screen. You can see the speed and the altitude of the vehicle. And we pass through max Q, and the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid the being pulled back down to Earth. You heard the call out that MVAC engine shell has begun. Now this is in preparation for three events coming up in quick succession, which is main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine startup. And wow, that looks amazing on the screen. All three boosters burning bright there. Falcon Heavy is following a nominal trajectory. And good call out on trajectory. Now again, we're gonna throttle down the side boosters, and then the next event coming up in about a minute, or just under a minute, will be BECO, that's booster engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down the engines on the side boosters, and then we will separate the side boosters from the center core. And as a reminder, we are not landing our side boosters or center core today due to performance needed on today's mission. Stage separation confirmed. Back ignition. And there you heard and saw those three events happening back to back main engine cutoff, stage separation, and that second engine startup one of our second stage. You can see those grid fins on the first stage deploying as the first stage begins to make its way back down to Earth. Now, the next event in just a few seconds here will be fairing separation where the two halves of the fairings will separate to reveal our O3B M-Power satellite. Great views there. We had Beco booster engine cutoff, and we watched as those side boosters, and you could see them there on your screen, those side boosters falling Vehicle away. Vehicle following a nominal trajectory. Falling away from Falcon Heavy's center core. Awesome views. That's gonna wrap it up for the side boosters today. It's T plus three minutes and 50 seconds here into today's mission, and we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns for satellite deployment. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. In about two and a half minutes here at T plus six minutes and 30 seconds, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. After this entry burn, we'll relight three of the M1D engines starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines, which are Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one FTS has saved. MVAC ignition. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. And we got some great views. We watched Miko as the engines on the center core shut down, stage separation, and now you can see on your screen that the MVAC engine has ignited. Now the first stage is making its way back down, preparing for its entry burn. 
We need to perform this entry burn to help reduce re-entry forces on the first stage, which will help us recover and reuse the booster. Now again, during the re-entry burn, the first stage on the left will decelerate by firing its Merlin engines. It'll fire three out of the nine engines, and this will actually cause the vehicle to fly down through the plume, which will deposit some of that soot back onto Falcon 9. Now what you're looking at on your screen is a view on our second stage, looking aft at our MVAC engine. And our MVAC engine on the second stage is currently in the middle of its first burn. Beautiful views from the first and second stage. Again, that second stage is in the first of three planned burns carrying our two O3B M power satellites. And the first stage is coming down, awaiting the start of its entry burn at T plus six minutes and 30 seconds. This will be about a 20 second entry burn. On your left hand screen, you could see a map of the mission trajectory. On your right hand screen is a live view of the MVAC engine. As a reminder, our main payload for today's stage two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. With callouts. Our main payload for today's mission is Viasat 3, and we do have two secondary payloads on board as well from Gravity and Astronus. That is the Gravity Space One and Astronus's. Microgeo satellite. If you're just now joining us, we're currently in the middle of the first of three burns for this MVAC engine today. The next event coming up is in just under a minute and 15 seconds. We will have SECA 1, or what we call second engine cutoff 1, and that will end the first of those three burns. Again, reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in things like critical scientific research. Now the Falcon 9 first stage that's supporting today's mission just performed its entry burn for the second time after previously having supported the Crew-6 launch just last month. Now the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, whereas that MVAC engine you see on the second stage there is optimized for vacuum which just means that it has a much bigger nozzle compared to the M1D engine on the first stage. Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we'll have the shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage, followed quickly by the landing burn on our first stage. And we are about 20 seconds or so from Seco one That's where we will shut down this MVAC engine and allow the vehicle to- Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Space Google Viser YouTube channel.